Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded Mod Pack. Yes, you heard that right. FTB Ultimate Reloaded. And this is exactly how you can get it using the new FTB Launcher. We're going to be going over every single step of the new FTB Launcher. How to get it installed, how to get it downloaded, how to download FTB Ultimate Reloaded once you get into the FTB Launcher. It's all going to be covered here, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get an incredible server running FTB Ultimate Reloaded in just a few clicks. It goes over every single step of getting FTB Ultimate Reloaded without you having to do anything but just click around and yeah i don't know just basically make a few clicks and be done right that's how simple it is you click that you want this mod pack ftb ultimate reloaded on your server say yes confirm it a few times and then you're done it is set up you have ftb ultimate reloaded and you don't have to worry about anything we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so again if you were looking for a great minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy and just have a ton of fun with check out apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump straight on into this. This is our tutorial on FTB Ultimate Reloaded and how you can get it with the new FTB launcher. We have a tutorial, I believe, on the old FTB Twitch launcher, but now it's updated. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing we want to do is go to this link. It's the second link down below. It'll take you here unless the FTB launcher and website have been updated. Then it'll take you to our website where you'll have an updated tutorial there. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green download windows button here. That'll then download it in the bottom left. However, you shouldn't need to save the file. Unlike a lot of things in Minecraft, you have to keep or save the file. Not the case with the FTB Ultimate Launcher or FTB Launcher here, except if you're on Mozilla Firefox. On Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save the file, but it is safe to save as long as it says FTB Launcher in the title. But now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we do have the FTB Launcher. If this isn't our desktop, no worries. It's in your Downloads folder, and to find it, click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's in the bottom left of your screen, but just click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and when you click on that, go ahead and type in Downloads right like so. Then you have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and you'll have the FTB launcher hidden inside. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Once the FTB launcher is on your desktop, you can go ahead and double click on it to start the installation process. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. However, I forgot to delete it before this video. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Now, if we go ahead and double click on the FTB launcher, it'll open up something like this, where you then just want to go ahead and click on the apply button here. And it will go through, load, download, and do everything that you need to do. It's very, very simple. It's just click apply and it's done. But I do, did want to make sure that it was the exact same as what you were seeing. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll up to the top of the mod packs list here, and you'll be able to see there is FTB Ultimate Reloaded. Now you can click on that, but before we jump too far into this, I want to click on the Options tab up here. The reason for that is I'm going to add more RAM. Now this mod pack is going to require a decent amount, at least 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM, but I'm going to throw 8 gigabytes of RAM at it just because I have that much RAM and can do that. Be sure to not ever, you know, use more than half of your RAM for Minecraft, but since I have 32 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes is not a problem. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on FTB Mod Packs here. Make sure that FTB Ultimate Reloaded is selected. You might have to scroll down the list a bit, but there it is. And then once that's selected, come down here to the bottom right. Then click on this drop down box here and then click on create profile in here you want to enter your email and password of the minecraft profile you use so that's going to be the same exact username and password that you use to log into the minecraft launcher that's what's going to go here right that's exactly what is going to go here so the username and password of the normal minecraft launcher then for the profile name this can be whatever you want just so you can identify it so username and password that you use in the minecraft launcher minecraft.net stuff like that and then whatever you want for the profile name then click add Come down here to the bottom right and click on the profile you have there. In my case, that is Nix Games. Go ahead and click on that and click launch. And then go ahead and open up the FTB Ultimate Reloaded mod pack. Get everything installed. Do everything it needs to do. It's going to take a while though. It's not going to be super, super fast. However, the download process itself was actually pretty quickly there, or pretty quick there. Yours may be a little different. I might have had some leftover remnants of this mod pack on my computer somehow, but what is not going to be too different is uh, this sort of a thing. It's going to take a while to start up here. I mean, literally minutes. It might take half an hour, depending on how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft, to get this started up and get this running. As you can see, it's easily eating three, two to three gigabytes of RAM early in the startup process, and it will get up to five gigabytes of RAM. I have no doubt about it. So I'm going to go ahead, let this initialize over 200 mods, and then once it's done, we're going to go ahead and meet you on the main menu to show that it's working and jump in game to kind of show you around just a hair of the FTB Ultimate Reloaded Mod Pack. So I'll see you after a quick jump cut and uh, continue on with this 
tutorial. And here we are on the FTB Ultimate Reloaded main menu. As you can see, single player support, it is all here and it is all custom. Yes, this is Minecraft. If you look up here in the top right, it's Minecraft, but it's all custom, it's all different. So let's go ahead and click on single player. We can create a new world. I'm gonna make this creative. Then you wanna click on more world options. It's very important that you do that and then kind of click around, see what there is, see if there is anything interesting that you can like change or do anything with. For this, it doesn't really look like there is. There's no biomes of plenty or anything like that, but it's always important to check that on a mod pack. Then you can go ahead and click done and create your new world. I'm gonna do a quick jump cut here. I always like lag a little bit when the worlds are creating, so I'm gonna do a quick jump cut. And then after that, we will finish the tutorial right on off. All right, here we are spawning, looking directly at a piece of grass, but this is FTB Ultimate Reloaded. We hit E here, we'll be able to see all of the different blocks and block types on creative mode that are set up and like we can, you know, check out. It's, it's all here and um, over 115 pages and not enough items. That's pretty insane. Yeah, that's a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, so even these trees are custom. I've never seen any evergreens like that in normal Minecraft, that's for sure. And even these biomes, look at those extreme, almost as like an amplified biome setup. And then we do have a custom biome here. We've got a volcano that we spawned right next to. This is actually a pretty good, pretty good seed there. So there it is if you all want it. But um, yeah, so that is how you can download and install FTB Ultimate Reloaded in Minecraft. If you have any questions about it, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy the FTB Ultimate Reloaded mod pack. This is one of, uh, in my opinion, the best FTB mod packs ever made. So yeah, I'm saying that right now. I'm sure they'll have some pretty cool stuff coming out pretty soon for newer versions, but as far as you know, old FTB mod packs go, this is one of the best ones ever in my opinion. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on PlayOutBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Grief Protected Survival, Custom Skyblock. It is absolutely incredible and you will absolutely love it. Over 200 players online nearly every single day. So come play with us. PlayOutBreakdownCraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out. Peace.